The fifth straight year, firefighters from all across the state gathered in Cortland for the Firefighter Winter Games. But for the Owego Fire Department this year, it meant a little more. Jeremy Donovan explains. Firefighters are used to heading out in the cold weather, but usually it's not to have this much fun. There's definitely some rivalry, uh, competitiveness, and it kind of builds up that uh, the spirit of uh, brotherhood. 350 firefighters from 12 different counties were in full gear in Cortland for the annual FASNI Winter Games. For those participating, the event is a nice change of pace. Sometimes what we do on the fire ground is not always easy, and uh, sometimes those situations don't come out to be the best situation that we would like, and this provides a little bit of a release for those folks. Following the death of Fire Captain Matthew Picari for the Owego Fire Department, these events represent a release from a very stressful couple of weeks. I was kind of hesitant about coming up, uh, given all that's gone on, but our, our guys really wanted to come up. We had two teams up here, 13 firefighters for Owego. It was a good break for us, uh, blow off some steam, so hopefully today we can bring home a trophy for Matt. Perkari was a firefighter's game staple, especially when it came to hose racing. He and I joined the fire department in 95 when we were 16, and the first one of the first things we did was hose race, and we've done it ever since. Um, now it's just sad that and, and tough that he isn't here with us, but he's, he's with us in spirit. While he may be gone, his legacy lives on. The Central New York Firemen's Association created an annual sportsmanship award in Picari's memory. His reputation as a fierce competitor, though, didn't stop him from helping out his opponents and making sure everyone had fun. I think it really speaks to how we've matured as adults, and it's not all about winning anymore. It's just about enjoying and having fun and being in the company of good folks in the fire service. In Cortland, Jeremy Donovan, Fox 40 HD News.